Tonight, even during rush hour, with the Sherman Minton Bridge closed and gridlock traffic in a lot of places, one Louisville man is making it across the Ohio River in just four minutes. <laughs> he uh, may be getting some calls from you after this, and he calls <laughs> his commute serene. 11 at 11's Adriana Hopkins joins us now with the story. Adriana? Well, as you know, this closure has been such a hassle that some people are trying to avoid the interstates at all costs. Well, he is too, but the way he's getting across the river, well, you just have to see it to believe it. Well, for me, it really doesn't affect my daily commute. My practice is in Indiana. I live over here, but it, it just has not been a problem so far. My commute is so nice and, and panoramic. About four minutes. It's a nice little thing. And, and to actually go to work in it is, yeah. is amazing. It's a car. It, no, it's a boat. It's, no. It's a boat. <laughs> The unique thing is that it's, uh, it has all the features of a car and of a boat. It can go on the water as well. It's a 1966 Amphicar. Uh, there were about 3,800 made. Um, they estimate there's somewhere between 350 and 600 left. I like it. So this is Dr. Stephen Filardo's big secret. How he crosses the Ohio River in four minutes. Without the bumper to bumper slow moving traffic, this is why his commute is so serene. Come in at Cox's Park and I go out at Duffy's Land. He said buying this car is the most irrational thing he's ever done. First time you actually got this thing in the water. It was a little nerve wracking. But also the most practical for this cardiologist who has patients on both sides of the river especially during rush hour. And the scenery is so nice that when I get there to take care of my patients, I'm relaxed. Steve says he remembers seeing this car as a kid and always wanted one like it. And after some online hunting, his father found this car in California. He purchased it for less than $40,000 and it only has about 26,000 miles on it. It's in great condition. It gets about 30 miles to the gallon. It is a bargain in more ways than one. Fit for a lot of reasons. Um, it helps with the commute. Um, uh, like I said, it was kind of the right car at the right time. It's registered as a classic car that just so happens to float, and it has to meet all of the Coast Guard's requirements. It has to have a horn, it has to, you have to have a throw, so you have to have a fire extinguisher. When you're on the water, if Tom Tom say it goes right or left. Or <laughs> the model of this car is called a 770 because it gets about 7 miles per hour in the water and 70 miles per hour on land. It is a smooth, dry ride. You know, like halfway across the Ohio, I always make, I pull the switch on the bilge pump and there's never any water in it, but, which is always, re, you know, reassuring. So if you're ever stuck in traffic and you see a car in the water boating across in the river below, it's just Steve, who has probably set the car to cruise control, smiling because he finally has the car he always wanted and he's not sitting in traffic. It makes the drive nicer. It makes it much more enjoyable. <laughs> so how cool is that car? Well, Steve says when he approached his wife about buying this car, she was all for it. He says she's more of a daredevil than he is and really enjoys the ride. And he says he owes her one. Adriana Hopkins, 11 at 11.